Hi, I'm Leanne of Urcus with CA Technologies, and I'm here today at the RSA conference with John Pescatori with the SANS Institute. And we're going to talk a little bit today about some of uh, Trust in the Cloud. Hi, John, how are you? Good, good to be here. Great, well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Sure. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the SANS Institute and uh, what you're doing here today at RSA conference? Sure, SANS is probably the world's largest information security training. Uh, Institute. We train practitioners how to be good cybersecurity professionals. Um, I'm here to chair a panel on cloud security with uh, the CISO of Microsoft, the CISO of Google Apps, Bruce Schneier, well known uh, cryptographer, and also uh, Wade Lawrence from Verizon Terrible as well. Excellent. Well, there's been a lot of discussion for several years about cloud security. Can you trust it? Maybe do you really put your most critical data in the cloud? Do you, you know, there's a lot of discussion still on that. And uh, Monday, the Cloud Security Alliance had a, a panel on a very similar topic of how do you trust the cloud. So is there something that you can tell us that organizations should expect from cloud service providers when it comes to security? Well, there's several things. I mean, first off, cloud is just a form of outsourcing. You're outsourcing your computing and storage to somebody out there. And uh, just as if you were paying somebody to host your website 20 years ago, today you're paying them to run it on their cloud infrastructure. So the first thing is you have to be able to contract with external companies and have the ability to manage service level agreements and deal with contracts before you should even think about cloud or the security. Now, once that's in place, the security issues become how do they prove to you they're secure enough? Right? When we outsource, the outsourcer has to prove to us they're secure. And that's, that's part of the problem. That's why the Cloud Security Alliance and others are trying to come up with standards and, right. and ways that the cloud providers can demonstrate that. And really the key issue is how do they prove to you that they're securely keeping your stuff separate from everybody else's stuff? Right? Because that's really what, what's happening. So now that's a, a large discussion when we come from this panel. One of the questions I'm going to ask them is, would you host your critical business information Google and Microsoft on your competitor's cloud? Sort of a key question. If it's really so secure, so, so what are some things that they that um, organizations should ask providers to get a comfort level of that security? There's a couple key issues, and again, first I always start at the governance level. I mean, for example, I don't know if you heard of Scott Charney from Microsoft's yeah. keynote, but uh, location is important in the real world because of legal requirements. Right. There are some types of data in Europe, for example that cannot be stored outside of Europe without prior consent. And then same in the U.S. So some of the first questions are, where are your geographic data centers, or can you limit it to my country? Uh, and, and that's feasible. Most of the large providers can do that. Uh, the second thing is, what assurances have you gotten? Who tested your services? Have you gotten a SOC certification, ISO 27001 certification kind of thing? But I think more importantly than that is, how can I test you? So what we found is the advanced cloud providers do have ways that customers can do penetration testing of their own instance, or can get visibility into the inner vulnerability and patching of the cloud environment they're running. So the real key is ask about what you can do to uh, get assurances, what they give for assurances, and what transparency they do. So the transparency thing is a big issue. So what do you suggest to cloud providers to show potential customers that, that they do have that security? Uh, this happens to be one of the odd areas where the U.S. government is sort of ahead of the curve. So there's a federal program called FedRAMP, which is the GSA-led initiative. How can they decide, decide if cloud services are secure enough for government use? And it's part of the FedRAMP program that has continuous monitoring requirements that cloud providers have to say, here's how we will give you that transparency to these key things. So the very first thing I tell people is first look to see if the cloud provider you're looking at has FedRAMP certification. If so, look at that continuous monitoring plan and take advantage of that. Um, if they're not a cloud provider that's selling to the government, you might think twice, because all the big ones have already gone through this. But let's say you have to use one that's not FedRAMP. You can look at the uh, FedRAMP continuous monitoring requirements and ask the same question if it's part of your RFP or anything else for cloud services. Great. Well, that's some great advice. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to your session. All right. Thanks for having me. I'm Leanna Gurkis, CA Technologies at RSA Conference 2014.